in uh, for the last four classes uh, we were discussing about uh, sigma tropic reactions uh, under pericyclic uh, subject right uh, sigma tropic reactions uh, what we saw in sigma tropic reaction is that uh, we saw one comma sigma tropic reactions can be broadly classified as one comma n sigma tropic reactions and n comma m sigma tropic reactions uh, under 1 comma n sigma tropic reactions, we were studying about uh, uh, 1, 3, 1, 5, 1, 7 hydrogen shifts. Then we started studying about uh, 1, 3, 1, 5, 1, 7 carbon shifts. <coughs> and then we studied about how this hydrogen or the methyl group should move, whether it is suprafacial movement or antrafacial movement. And we uh, used our Woodward Hoffman rule for deciding that. And after finishing this 1 comma n sigma tropic reactions, then we slowly went into n comma m sigma tropic reactions, where we studied how a sigma bond can be moved through the pi through the pi system. Okay, and in n comma m sigma tropic reactions, we then studied 2 comma 3 sigma tropic and 3 comma 3 sigma tropic reactions. In 2 comma 3 sigma tropic reactions, we studied on many reactions like Stevenson, Somalt, Asser rea rearrangement and we covered many of the reactions. And then in 3 comma 3, we slowly studied about your COPE rearrangement. We studied all the aspects of COPE, right, how <coughs> COPE reaction stereochemistries, we studied the, about them. Then we studied about oxy -COPE. Then we slowly went into their Azar system and we did some examples on COPE rearrangement. After finishing COPE rearrangement, then we went into Claisen rearrangement and uh, we studied their synthetic utility of Claisen rearrangement. We studied different variants of Claisen rearrangement like your Johnson Claisen rearrangement, Ireland Claisen rearrangement and we studied some aromatic Claisen rearrangement. Um, and then we finally, we ended up with studying 5 comma 5 sigma tropic rearrangements and 9 comma 9 sigma tropic rearrangement. So, <coughs> that is about the one important class of pericyclic reaction that is your sigma tropic reactions. So, from today class, we will be trying to focus on cycloaddition reactions. This is another set of reaction which is broadly comes under your pericyclic reactions. So, from we will try to spend like another two or three class on understanding about cyclo addition reactions. <coughs> so, the broad definition if you want to know about it is like two unsaturated molecules. Two unsaturated molecules two unsaturated molecules undergoes an addition to form a cyclic product. This is your cyclo addition reactions. Uh, the best one is that you take an unsaturated system like your <coughs> diene, and another unsaturated molecule is your alkene. Okay, and if you heat this reaction, it forms a type of cyclic product. Okay. So, this is a class, uh, it is a broad class definition of your um, cyclo addition reaction, like two unsaturated molecules undergoes an addition to form a cyclic product. But there are many reactions in which you can even see like three molecules or four molecules undergoing cyclo addition type of reaction. But as a broad definition, simple definition, we can keep like two unsaturated molecules undergoing an addition to form a cyclic product. So, this is a definition about cyclo addition reactions. The another thing is classification of cyclo addition reactions. Uh, 
how we can classify cyclic addition reactions um, based on number of pi electrons that is involved in your reactions. Okay, based on that we can classify your uh, cyclic addition reactions. Fine. Uh, for example, like uh, we can classify them as 2 plus 2, very important classification of cyclic addition, 2 plus 2 cyclic addition, where you can think an alkene reacting with another alkene to form a cyclobutane system. Okay. Here you can see it is 2 pi electrons and same way it is 2 pi electrons adding together to form a uh, cyclobutane system. This is 2 plus 2 cyclic addition and then we can even think about your 4 plus 2 cyclic addition where you can have your butadiene plus your alkene to give you a cyclic product. So, this will be a 5 4 pi electron system and this will be a 2 pi electron system. So, giving you a, a cyclic product. This is your famous reaction. This is your Gilles Adder reaction. Uh, then we have like we can even have a system like this where you have V A B and your C with your electron on your A. A. Again if you see this is a four electron system where you have a two electrons here and you have a two electron here. So, it is a four electron system with your alkene to give you a five member ring. Okay. So, this you can call as uh, you have studied this 1 3 dipolar cyclic addition you have this reactions. Same way you can write 4 plus 4 cyclic addition reactions. So, uh, basically how you classify cyclic addition reaction is that you classify cyclic addition reaction based on number of pi electrons interacts in the system. So, in the earlier case we have seen like 2 pi electrons and here 2 pi electrons interacts to give you a cyclobutane system that is why we call as 2 plus 2 cyclic addition. In Diels order we can see 4 pi electrons and 2 pi electrons. So, it is a more like a 4 plus 2 cyclic addition clear. So, that is how you can classify the cyclic addition reactions. Now, before getting into uh, understanding like uh, 2 plus 2 cyclic addition and uh, 4 plus 2 cyclic addition reactions. Uh, what we will do is that we will try to understand more about the mode of additions. Okay. So, what we will be trying to uh, focus in this coming classes is that we will work on 2 plus 2 cycle addition reactions, then we will study 4 plus 2 cycle addition in which we will concentrating more on Gilles Adder reactions and 1, 3 dipolar cycle addition. Okay. These are the three reactions we will be concentrating for the coming class. So, now we will just see the mode of addition how the cyclic addition reactions happen based on your FMO projection like a frontier molecular orbital how we can understand the mode of action. Okay. So, basically we call them as a suprafacial versus Antrafacial cycle addition. So, what this suprafacial and antrafacial means exactly? For example, I am taking a system like you say I am taking a molecular orbital, I am taking a molecular orbital like this. In another case, I have a system where uh, I have like this. Okay. Now, 
if during the addition the OMO LUMO which we are talking about the OMO of one of the reactant and LUMO of another reactant which we are going to talk about if this addition act happens exactly on the symmetry lobes that is on the same side face okay then we call this as supra okay if our addition takes place in opposite one okay then we call this as an and So, if it is in the same phase, okay, the same uh, same phase of your orbital with the homo lumo, then you call it as suprafacial. If it is in one on the opposite phase, another is opposite to it, then you call that addition as an antrafacial addition. Much more to be very <coughs> precise. For example, I will consider the For example, I am taking a system. Okay, uh, this is not an alkene type of system. Like just we say that is an end system, or like just a minute, mm, much more to be clearly drawn. A system like this. Just to show that it is the, it's not a single, it's an n. Uh, this can be a number of carbons in between. Okay, just to give that idea. Uh, so now, if you see this cycloaddition, okay, the homo and lumo the one is the homo another is the lumo okay you see they are happening in the same phase okay that we call as suprafacial cycloaddition okay suprafacial addition so how we call this uh, we can we can just say that this is pi okay um, we, we normally call us you can put your 2 or n because this is n system. So, I can keep it as pi n s plus another pi n s system. Okay. If it is a 2 electron system, then you make it 2 pi 2 s plus pi 2 s or pi 4 s plus pi 2 s. Okay. This is your superficial because it happens in the same thing. If we go and see how antraficial addition will be. An orbital ohm of one. If you see in this case what happens, uh, you can have one on their symmetrical loop, right? Same size, but other case we will have in the opposite. Okay. So, that will be antrafacial. So, this will be suprafacial and this will be antrafacial. So, how you write that? You write as pi n s plus pi n a. Right? So, this is your addition. So, we normally we call as antrafacial. Antrafacial cycle addition. So, this is pi n s plus pi n a because this is antrafacial and this is suprafacial. In this case, both are suprafacial. Okay. This is like a general term. Then we can slowly, so that is that is how you call cycle addition. You can say the system undergoes a suprafacial cycle addition or antrafacial cycle addition. Uh, they can have pi n s plus pi n s, both are suprafacial, you call them as a suprafacial system, one suprafacial and another you call as pi n s plus pi n a system depending on the things. right? So, this is the mode of uh, cycle addition based on your FOMO theory. Now, what we will do is that now we will slowly get into our 
2 plus 2 cyclic addition. That is your first cyclic addition which we are going to. This is a just an introduction. So, what is cyclic addition? How you can classify cyclic addition? So, cyclic additions are nothing but it is just an addition of your unsaturated molecules to form cyclic products. Classification you can classify based on the number of pi electrons involved in the system. Then we have seen the suprafacial and antrafacial, same symmetry, same phase lobes, then you call as supra, which is opposite you try to say about antrafacial. And how to name them pi and s plus depending upon you, uh, pi system, what number it is, 2 electron system, then you say pi 2, then whether it is suprafacial or antrafacial. So, that is a uh, introduction about your cycle addition reactions. Okay. Now, we will get into your 2 plus 2 cycle addition reaction. Uh, we have studied that if you take an um, two alkenes. Okay, I'm not just specifying any condition right now. Just if they combine to give you a uh, type of cyclic product, you call this reactions as two plus two cyclic uh, addition reactions. Now we will see <coughs> under what condition how this happens. If you uh, thermally activate this reaction, whether it will undergo a, whether it is allowed. If it is allowed, then uh, what happens? Whether it is suprafacial cyclic addition or it is a antrafacial, whether it is pi 2 s plus pi 2 s or it is pi 2 s plus pi 2 a. Uh, in photochemical activation, what will occur? So, first we will try to understand that, then we will go and see the examples. Okay. So, we will say um, in heating. What you, what you can see in heating condition that is all our thermal activation okay how the orbitals look because we know it is 2 plus 2 for example we can take your alkene system hmm. so we will draw the homo okay of your one of your alkene Then we will take the lumo or of your another alkene system. Right, we can take the lumo of another house. Now we'll see this because this should be in the heating condition, right? This is the homo of one of your alkene, and this is your lumo. Whether they can uh, do now what system? I can have this. Okay, but this is it's not allowed. So, uh, what we can say is that pi 2 s plus pi 2 s is not allowed in heating condition, it is not allowed. So, you cannot have this uh, see most of the time if it is suprafacial okay, it is the reactions are much more allowed okay, it can go nicely. Uh, you, you have seen very rare examples where you can have suprafacial and antrafacial that type of reactions are there, but if it is supra suprafacial it is much allowed reactions. Okay. Uh, supra antra, antrafacial one of the problem is that they have to be geometrically allowed hmm? that should that condition prevails. We will say we will take the same example. Okay. Um, if I want to do if we want to draw like suprafacial and antrafacial for this type of system. Okay, so so this is the homo of your alkene. Okay, This is your homo, for example, I am considering again, and this is your lumo. 
So now you can always have a chance of, if it geometrically favors, okay, you have a chance of making like this. Right? Uh, then you can say this is pi 2 s plus pi 2 a. So if you generalize this, like you can say that in heating condition, cycloaddition reactions um, does not undergo your suprafacial, it is not allowed, but you can think about undergoing suprafacial plus antrafacial reaction. But the care here it should be is that it should be geometrically favored. If it is not geometrically favored, then this uh, alignment of your suprafacial to antrafacial never takes place. So, most of the case they become forbidden, okay, unless the geometry allows them. That is the important thing you have to remember. The geometry should be possible. Some the geometry should be favored. Otherwise, you cannot see uh, this. Okay. This is on your eating. Okay. What will happen if I photolyze this? So under photolytic under photochemical condition. So same way we can write. Now, under photochemical condition, you can. So, what happens? You will write now excited state OMO, right? Uh, because you are exciting the one of uh, um, uh, alkene, so you will be writing excited state OMO. And you will be writing your LUMO of your al another system. Previous case, you were thinking about the ground state. Okay, now since it is photochemical, you are exciting, so you are generating a new type of OMO, a uh, new OMO that you call as an excited state OMO. Okay, and now you are writing about the LUMO. Now in this case, you can see the orbitals are aligned nicely to form your pi 2 s plus pi 2 s which is suprafacial. Right? So, what we can say then, uh, if you do uh, 2 plus 2 cyclo addition, you do 2 plus 2 cyclo addition, So, if you heat it, okay, your S plus A is completely forbidden, right? You can then say S plus S plus S is completely forbidden when you heat. But you can see S plus A, but it should be geometry should favor. But if you shine light, S plus S is allowed. Okay, you can uh, S plus A is not is forbidden. Uh, so, like that, you can now you can finally generalize based on your FMO three. Like uh, uh, heating, what happens? Your S S plus S is forbidden. S plus A is allowed geometrically if it is favored, then in light S plus S is allowed and S plus A is forbidden, clear. So, that is uh, about uh, introduction of your 2 plus 2 cyclo addition reactions. Now, we will just get into some examples and see whether we can use this idea. We will take the simplest example, like we will take your alkene system. Like Entine system. Another uh, same same dyne. Okay. Mm. 
so if you photolyze this reaction okay if you excite this uh, what do you end up yeah first we will write the product so you end up with an cyclic product like this right um, so how this reaction is what you wh what mode of addition it is it should be supra supra right so we should call them as pi 2s plus pi 2s right see that is very important because you have to uh, once we go to systems where you can generate your chiral carbon then you should know whether the reaction is specific or not okay that time your supra supra facial additions are very important in this case fine but uh, uh, we will go for some other examples where we can see that why uh, why uh, pi 2s plus pi 2s is important okay same way if i heat this reaction what do you expect So, what happens is that we should think about pi 2 s plus pi 2 a okay it should be a suprafacial antifacial because you do not have this uh, pi 2 s plus pi 2 s is forbidden in heating. So, it should be pi 2 s plus pi 2 a, but if you see this alkene systems okay they are more same they are not geometrically favored it cannot sit on each other like this okay. So, geometry does not allow that is why what happens there will be no reaction. So, you will have no reactions okay, very good example to understand. So, it should um, but basically we should think about pi 2 s plus pi 2 a, but the idea is that since the geometry is small for them to it's easy to make a bond it does not happen. So, you get there will be no reaction, but if you do the same reactions in light you get a nice product. Okay. Now, we will take the second example like Now, what I am doing is that <coughs> now it's sort of I, when you do a cyclo addition okay, on this you will generate a type of chiral carbon right? now you know, should know how your system is if I photolyze this first thing comes into your mind is that it should be uh, supra supra right so it should be pi 2 s plus pi 2 s so it should be the same phase it should come in the same phase uh, then how, how your product should be if I write the product, this is one side of my alkene, okay. That is my methyl, I have my methyl here. This is my the alkene part, okay, and this is my phenyl part which I am going to write. So, it should be most of the time I get my phenyl here with my hydrogen on one side, okay and I can get my C n here with my hydrogen on one part right. You can get a type of specific product or it can be other way around if you can say that it is uh, I can get in like C H 3 C H 3. You can also think about this first. So this are the so this tells that reaction is proper, uh, comes in the same phase to make your bond. Okay, so you are not changing any stereochemistry here. Okay, so you get a very nice products. Huh? You if it is like a trans, you get in the same type of product here. If you take like a, uh, this is in this case it is cis. Then if you take trans, you might end up then with the two different bonds. 
that is good. Same so we will take one another example, let us see third one. Uh, just a case like um, you have an alkene type of alpha beta e node. Okay. Uh, so, you can have your um, 2 plus 2 cycle addition here. Yeah? Uh, so, this reaction once you photolyze, you can write pi 2 s plus pi 2 s. So, uh, we want to have the stereochemistry because it comes in the same phase of that. So, your so 2 CO 2 should be yeah. So, you can then write first we will finish the product. So, your CO 2 Me and you have a CO 2 Me, then you have your hydrogen and you have your methane. Right. Uh, so, this is another important another type of example which tells about supraphacial how it should be very precise in additions. I uh, will take some interesting examples which will be which you guys have studied this example. Uh, right? We, uh, I think we have just seen this example when we were talking about Alin chem uh, pi pi system chemistry, right? So, so when we photolyze this, we can say it undergoes pi 2 s plus pi 2 s. So, I have to draw your product. Nicely undergoes a quadric cyclic systems. So, another, another example which we will be in, uh, interested of speaking about is your this we have studied where we have studied this example. Where we have studied this type of your benzene, ne? Dewar benzene types. It's a uh, metal substituted type of Dewar benzene. And uh, once you photolyze this, again undergoes a nice pi 2 s plus pi 2 s system. Uh, can you draw the structure? It will be interesting to draw the structure. Um, like this main type it will be like prism prismine so then you can put your earlier metals here okay so you get this type of uh, nice reactions okay so, <coughs> these are very good um, reactions of your 
uh, cycle addition of uh, under uh, photochemical conditions. Okay. Uh, now, what we will do is that uh, we will slowly get into your uh, thermal activation where you can end up with your pi 2 s plus pi 2 a system in 2 plus 2. So, we have studied that uh, geometrically it should be allowed, if it geometrically gets allowed then you end up with a uh, nice type of pi 2 s plus pi 2 a system. They are very good system, w any idea what it can be, what type of 2 plus 2 cycle addition where you uh, end up seeing. Uh, pi 2 s plus pi 2 a. You have studied this in detail, uh, your uh, ketene chemistry, okay. ketene cyclo addition, most of your ketene cyclo additions uh, with uh, alkene, ketene cyclo additions with your imine famous Tondegar equation reaction, then your ketene addition with your carbonyl compound compounds to form beta lactams all this reactions goes by pi 2 s plus pi 2 a chemistry okay that is pi 2 suprafacial I plus antrafacial so what we'll do is that <coughs> we'll study in detail okay ketene um, or i can say cycloaddition cycloaddition reactions of ketene So, we will try to understand now this in detail, okay, cycle addition reactions of ketenes. Uh, first, we will see what, what that reaction is all about. Um, you can take a nice type of ketene, okay. then you can Take your alkene, for example, I am taking like a much symmetrical type of alkene, and you just thermally activate this, okay. you end up with a nice product. So, it is basically it is a 2 plus 2 cycle addition of your C double bond C and C double bond C, okay. C double bond C of this and C double bond of this are the basically system involved in that, okay, to give you the cyclic product. And if you see <coughs> what uh, our rule, uh, it says that it should be heating means it should be pi 2 s plus pi 2 Okay. Now, we will see that how this chemistry happens, how it is geometrically allowed, okay. why it should happen this, eh? which is not happen in simple alkene. If you take two alkene system, it never undergo heating, may no reactions, but in this case ketene chemistry, most of your reaction goes by uh, suprafacial plus antrafacial chemistry. So, first we will see why it should happen, okay. we will see the geometry, uh, why it allows by orbital picture. <coughs> For example, I am taking my alkene, uh, you can consider the homo of your alkene. So, for, uh, if you want to write, I am taking this as your <coughs> for example, your alkene if you want to write it. Okay. Uh, like this type of system. What you do is that you just rotate this 90 degree, so that your two lobes are seen like this. Okay. So, what it is I am saying exactly, like this two lobes which I am talking about here, okay, that you see from the top. So, its geometry is like that. So, you see the two lobes here, clear. Huh? Okay. 
now <coughs> what happens is that now your ketin comes okay and sits the ketin which we are talking about can the carbon okay <coughs> you are talking about the lumo of the system okay I have my carbon here. So, this will be the homo I am talking about. <coughs> I am talking the lumo of this. So, it should be ok. So, Now, the geometry is like that. So, you have an alkene, it nicely sits here. Okay. So, you can now you can easily uh, form a type of uh, bonding nature system if you want. Or even you can write it in other way around that it should be white and white you can do it. So, it should be supra and <coughs> type of because of sitting nature of that okay <coughs> it can be white here so that you can get the white stuff from here and make a bond okay fine so that that's why the whole geometry allows this system to do your pi 2s plus pi 2a chemistry uh, okay so any doubt in this why why ketene chemistry happens nicely hmm? because of this is the geometry i'm talking about hmm? okay so what we'll do is that uh, now we will try to understand this uh, ketene chemistry in detail uh, what we'll do is that first we'll take uh, synthesis of ketene chemistry we'll see how we can synthesize ketene then uh, using our so called uh, uh, FMO theory knowledge, we will see how it reacts with alkenes, how it reacts with your aldehydes, how it reacts with your imines. Okay, we will do one by one that okay, fine. So, first we will see how we can synthesize ketones that is very important. You can know that the first normal method people uh, check for synthesis is your and then okay, this is your chloride. Uh, so, you can take this is uh, thing acyl chloride and you use your triethylamine. And uh, you know what happens is that your triethylamine can okay, this can abstract your hydrogen, okay. giving you a nice right you can get <coughs> nice synthesis of uh, ketene this one normal synthesis people do you take an acyl chloride type of system and use base huh? you can get your ketene nice another synthesis of ketene is your using your ester study that you can even same system instead of acid chloride if you want to use like an ester type of system or okay same way uh, you can use your lithium based basis okay uh, then you end up with your enolate type of system O minus and that O R 
at this type of systems, right? This can again you know, push it back. It will give me. So it's better to know how to make ketene type of systems, right? Because uh, when we do synthesis, uh, earlier case, <coughs> what type of elimination it is? This one. Uh, this is your E2 elimination, okay? That's an E2 elimination which happens not nicely. In this case, uh, that's more nice chemistry for me. What type of elimination is this one? <coughs> this is your E1CB, okay? E1CB elimination it can happen. So, that, uh, th this are nice synthesis like you can see elimination reactions not happening here. Um, <coughs> we have one more system where you can even use people use dichloro systems like uh, you can have like two chlorine systems. So, what you use because this is no not commonly used is. Uh, you use this can be done in presence of zinc, na? like uh, yeah. If you have zinc, you can do this chemistry. Little bit base is required for it. Like uh, if you have a So, since you have zinc, zinc chloride, okay, then you end up with your nice kitty. Yeah, this is uh, this you can see with the um, uh, zinc type of regular. This this normally people use it. Okay, type of uh, you have an alpha chloracyl chloride systems and you use like metal salts. Uh, end up with your kitty chemistry. Another uh, one which you have studied, uh, which on thermal activation or by photolysis you can generate your ketene chemistry. What is that? Uh, you can thermally activate and you can generate. Uh, you can end up with even with the single carbon type of systems, which you have studied also. Uh, hmm? huh? uh, you can get your and diazo systems where you can heat it or you can therm or you can photolyze you end up with a the carbon then you are you have a one two alkyl shift leading to you ketene chemistry that you have studied that in our earlier classes just we'll write that so if you take this type of system if you photolyze or thermally act or even if you can thermally activate this you, you can end up with your carbene right or even you can say people other way of writing is that can on R <coughs> this can be written like this also O minus with your positive charge here. So that you can get it up here. Now it's it's type of rearrangement, na, which you have studied. You can have a rearrangement here, so you can then think about getting your. Okay, this is uh, th this are four methods there are other methods but commonly used are these four methods by which you can generate uh, your ketone okay uh, so one we can use your acyl chlorides or you can use your esters or you can use your alpha chloro acyl chlorides or you can think about your diazo systems where you can thermally activate or heat you end up with the ketone generations okay so it's the, so these are the four good methods of your ketones
Now, what we will do is that <coughs> now slowly we will understand the reactions of since we know now synthesis of ketones, now we will slowly get into the reactions of ketone chemistry. Okay. See there are a number of reactions, but uh, we are going to concentrate more which is 2 plus 2 cycle addition. We are concerned more about 2 plus 2 cycle addition reactions. For example, if you have a ketene like system like if I have a general ketene. If I treat with an alkene, okay. so it undergoes a type of 2 plus 2 cycle addition. Okay. We, we will get in detail for other chemistry, just we summar, it is a type of summary of your ketones, what ketone can do, then we will get into individual chemistry. Okay. So, you end up with a product like ketone and this is your ketene part right and then this should be your you can talk about this chemistry so we will talk about this chemistry in detail okay alkene chemistry then if you want to treat it with carbonyl compounds want to treat it with carbonyl compounds you end up with your beta lactone that also you can nice reactions if you want to treat it with imine then you get beta lactams right this is your famous Stoddard equation right so so this all chemistry this three chemistries happens in uh, heating condition okay now we will go in detail and we will understand how this chemistry goes we will first take alkene we will study them then we will go to uh, imine chemistry then we will go for uh, carbonyl chemistry okay so that's for this class we will end our class right now with this. Huh?